Hi friends, Roxanne Steed here, and I just wanted to share a little thought with you about um, something that we did in our class this morning. So do you ever wonder where inspiration can come from? So I have a book from, it was published in 1995, and the cover of this image um, just burned into my memory. I was telling my class about it this morning, but I, you know, was sitting here at my computer on Zoom, and I didn't think to just go grab it off the shelf because most of my books I can put my hands on pretty quickly. But I just remembered this image of this woman in a striped dress and all the grasses and flowers were just, there was just so much movement in this beautiful picture. It's by, let's see, Carl Frederick, um, Frederick Carl Frisek, an American who lived between 1874 and 19. 39. Anyway, this image has been in my head for years. I don't think I've pulled this book off the shelf in at least mm, several years. So anyway, whenever I think of that picture, it just makes me think of in the spring when daffodils have all this, um, all the leafy parts have all this movement. So we were doing a project this morning uh, and I was teaching about underlying shapes, abstract shapes that are underneath um, your painting. So um, I have been wanting to make an image that that these um, all these uh, lines of movement and activity were in. So um, I kept my focal point here around this first daffodil and, and really softened everything else as it moved into the distance. But I, I just love this diagonal shape that moves across the page. And this was, you know, fairly quick. I, I was um, talking about some ideas of making this uh, relatable to plein air painting, how you might handle it if you were outside. So anyway, um, just thinking about where inspiration comes from. You know, you might see something at one point in your life and it doesn't really come to fruition until years later or it you know it stays you know that little seed has been planted and you might not do anything with that information for years but um believe me it all comes back anyway hope you're having an inspiring day and that you'll see something that um inspires you and it'll come to fruition a lot sooner than several years thanks a bunch we'll see you later bye